Hey everyone, so in the last video, we have successfully transferred the data between the listener and the payroll. In this video, we are going to create a simple chat application that is going to send some data to the listener to the payload and then the payload will accept that data and print it on the terminal and then the payload will send the data back to the listener and listener will do it as well. Okay, so for that, we are going to take an input in infinite loop so that whenever we um, we type something, the data will get back get sent to the payload or vice versa and then we again prompt to get uh, type some input. So I think that's how chat application works. So let us start coding. So let me erase this one and uh, let's type while true. So this is going to run an infinite loop or we can also do while true without this small brackets so while true and now we are going to take some input so let's say um, chat equals to input and let's do this and when the user gives something input we are going to send that input to the payload file so we are going to type connection dot send chat now all done from here and here we have to write while true as well let me delete this one let's type while true and now we are going to first of all the listener is going to send some data to the payload so the payload will have to receive the data first and then after it is going to send the data right so let me do this so I'm going to save receive data equals to payload dot receive 2048 nice and uh, we are going to print that data on the terminal and we also know that the payload dot receive method is going to return a byte and we have a method of byte that is going to decode that byte back to utf8 or readable format right so we are done from here and after printing the data the payload is going to ask for some input and after that the payload is going to send this input back to the client or you can say the listener payload.send chat perfect and also we have to do something here so after sending the data we have to wait or we have to receive the data so we'll be we will be writing receive data equals to connection dot receive 2048 and we are going to print that data on the console as well receive data dot decode utf8 now let's try to run this now as you can see the service is started and we are going to start the payload as well and now you can see we got connected and now that the payload is waiting for some data which should be given by the listener and as you can see here listener we are at the input phase so we are at line number 11 now so let's say hi hi there and let's hit enter okay so as you can see we got an error this is simply because a byte like object is required not string as you can see in line number 12 we are sending the data chat to the payload but the problem here is that since as we have discussed earlier that the send method is always accepting a byte not a string or not anything else apart from byte data right so we have to convert this chat into byte and for that we have a function called byte and we are just going to use this function so in the first argument we are providing the data which we are going to send which we have to encode in byte and we are going to specify the encoding type which is utf8 now let's try to run this again let me just stop all the processes now let's try to run this again and uh, run the payload file as well and as you can see we are again got connected both listener.py and payload.py is connected perfectly and now let's try to send some data to payload hi and as you can see, we get our high message to the payload.py file. 
and now as you can see the payload file is at this line number 9 and it is uh, it is asking for us to give something input so that it can send it back to the listener let's say i'm typing hey okay so we got the same error this is simply because we have to specify the byte data type here as well so we are going to do that by typing bytes and file name and the encoding type is going to be utf8 let's try to run this again to see if everything is working fine or not uh, let's try to run listener.py and payload.py let's try to send hi and as you can see we got the message hi and now let's try to send hey and as you can see we got the hey message from the payload to the listener as well so now this is just a simple chat application by which I am demonstrating that how we can transfer data between the listener.py file and payload.py file. Please note that whenever you try to send any data to any, any two Python uh, program using socket, the data must be in byte format. If the data is not in byte format, then we have to convert it so that we, we will be able to send that data to the between two files, right? So I think we are good for this video and now in the next video we are going to execute some system commands remotely. Thank you.